Joining me now, one of those filmmakers, Ryan McPherson, their attorney, Jan Ronis, as well as the deputy district attorney who was ready to prosecute them, Curtis Ross. Stop All right, Mr. Ross, let me start with you. Why'd you cut this deal? I mean, a lot of people have seen these tapes and they say, oh boy, this is, this is awful, this is horrible. Uh, what they did was uh, criminal, and uh, they're getting off with community service. Well, you're right, Dan, it is criminal conduct. Uh, we start with felony charges. Uh, a court, however, at the preliminary hearing, uh, he determined the conduct uh, to be misdemeanor level. Uh, first of all, we only have the tip of the iceberg. There are thousands of hours of tape that are out there that have been concealed that show all kinds of crimes, including vandalism as well as assaults. The court felt with uh, entire comparison of the evidence that it was worth a misdemeanor. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, rather than hear from the attorney, let's hear from uh, Ryan McPherson. What do you make of all this? Um, it's, a, it's a joke. I mean, Curtis, you're completely out of line. You're calling me a bad person. You're the bad person for lying to America, dude. Uh, you know, it's... <laughs> I pled guilty to a food fight, a fabricated food fight in which a homeless guy took a donut and smashed it on another homeless guy's shoulder. That's, that's what I pled guilty to. I mean, I, I don't see how I'm supposed to feel remorseful. I don't even see why I'm on this show. It's really not that big of a deal. It was completely blown out of proportion. And I think Curtis just needs to check himself before he starts throwing these accusations because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, well, let, let me, before I give Curtis a chance to respond, I will. Um, you know, what do you mean? What's the defense to, to everything that you're doing here? I mean, it does seem sort of you know, horrible what's happening to a lot of these guys. I know your, your answer is going to be, you know, they're, they're free choice. Uh, they don't have to exactly. do it. They, but nevertheless, you are encouraging them to do horrible things because they're desperate. No, but who says we're encouraging them? I mean, oh, I'm out there filming them. Me and my crew in decline, we've been put down. And they just videos. happen to fight when you show up? We walk up. That's how they live. This this type of behavior is not uh, unnormal for them. Rufus and Donnie both testified in the preliminary hearing that uh, they, Rufus had stabbed Donnie in the leg two times. You know, this was not videotaped. This is the type of lives they live. Just because they're not out on the golf course with you guys, you know, playing nine holes on Sundays, you know what I mean? They, they're out there living on the streets. Things get rough. They drink. That's the way they live. Curtis Ross, go ahead. Your response. Well, well, go ahead, Curtis Ross. Ross. More time. I should have left more time for this segment because we're, we're out of time. This is uh, interesting stuff. But anyway, Ryan McPherson, Jan Ronis, Curtis Ross, thank you all uh, for coming on the program. We Thanks, Curtis. <laughs> all right. That's the show for tonight.